killing you was going to give me a lot of satisfaction. Will you make up your own mind? Because I'm walking. This is private property. Now put a zipper on your mouth and shut up. Frankie, baby, do I have a deal for you? Here. What's this? For your mother. What's the other one for? My mother. I thought maybe you guys were in town to discount that stuff, huh? Knock it off, Theo. Drift. Look, uh, pussycat, never, ever, ever talk to me like that, okay? You and the rest of you butterflies around me, I like to see smiling, happy faces. And when you speak, speak softly and with respect. Never, never any harsh words. You understand? You? It's always a pleasure to see you, Kojak. Nice. And you? That's better. Open up, Kurjo. It's Kojak. I thought you were my friend. I would have stick your mouth in a light socket. I'm not kidding. Yeah. You like poetry? Look me. If I ever see you near me or any of my family, I'm gonna scatter your brains from here to White Plains, sweetheart. My hero. Well, I've served this city for 18 years, like a waiter, and I'm sick of it. Only this time, baby, I want a big tip. Now, you listen good, Yo-Yo, because I'm gonna tell you something for every cop had to live under a threat from a punk like you. You know, maybe sometimes when you're an old man, you'll be thinking about getting out. Uh, don't think anything about getting even. I want you to think about me. Because if by some remote possibility you get out, there's gonna be a little 150-year-old man waiting for you. And that little old man will be me. Hey, Father, bring us a cup of coffee, would you? Make it two cups of coffee. We'll have a cup of coffee while we talk, okay? Fat boy. Hey, uh, are you thinking or can I uh, talk? I'm thinking and you can talk. May we talk alone, Miss Walden? This is my closest neighbor, Joyce Harrington. He's really family. Joyce. That's right. Joyce. Like a famous Irish author, which you probably never read. Mm -hmm. Nice talking to you, Joyce. Help! Help! I got through! Okay, sweetheart, take me to your leader. No way! All right. Stay a mermaid. You have a phone call in my office. But don't give me that fishy look, doctor. You just got a nicer job than we do. Why do you think we do business? Be great, thanks. I owed you a favor for Celia. Everything okay? <laughs> I blew a nice lady for appearances. Folded a full house. Other than that. Don't hassle me, Fidelio! If you find out where he is, you'll call me, right? March. You're still alive, huh? You're very lucky. You're under arrest. And you too, pussycat. You accusing me? Uh, come here, Mr. Sant'Angelo. That's nice. You know, if this solid citizen doting father doesn't contact his kid for 24 hours, you know what I think? I think he's being held against his will. I think that your plan down the toilet. 
I believe that there's an ambush. Now, how does that hit your well-formed heels, Mr. Sant'Angelo? And here, suck on this a while. Cool you off a little. And what do you think you're talking about? Well, what do you think you're talking about? Ah, what do I think I'm talking about? Talk about murder, dummy. If you didn't have that badge, I'd... My badge. Don't let the posse turn you off. I think, Lieutenant, you may find you've overreached yourself. Oh. My slipper, Sean. You've been meddling in areas which, even by the most liberal interpretation of your duties, are none of your business. So you're telling me to shut up and sit down? Since candor is to be the currency of this conversation, yes. That would be my considered recommendation. Candor? So we're into candor now, right, Assemblyman? Well, since you gave me your candid opinion, let me give you mine. Stick with the small boys, Sonny. You're in a heavyweight division. I see. How does Staten Island strike you, Lieutenant? Or would you prefer to while away your uh, twilight years in Jackson Heights? Well, since you're passing out choices, Counselor, why don't you make it sing, sing, and just dump me there. But I'll tell you something. I'll be waiting for you with a welcome wagon when your pie wagon arrives. You're all death wish, aren't you, Kojak? No, all knows. You know, maybe I can understand your subpoenaing the autopsy report, maybe even justifying your interest in it. But one thing I can't stand, and that's the stink of your leaking it to Dennison's lawyer. Make some friends, Kojak. Make lots of friends. You're going to need them. Tell me about it, sweetheart. You keep away from me. I'm not talking to you. Don't you know I can put the cuffs on you and drag you downtown as a material witness? So put that thing down. <laughs> yeah, and then I get blown away trying to escape, right? Could have shot you in self-defense. What's this, a bagel? Huh? Now, what are you trying to hide? Ask Jack, why don't you? Because I'm asking you. George, sit down. <laughs> Thank you. You know why, uh, Ida? Come here. Forget it. Oh, you need me to fix a pocket ticket. You try to buy me. You know something? For the next hundred years, the biggest thing you'll ever buy is a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> when I was a kid out of the East Side, we used to go fishing in the East River to see who could catch the ugliest thing. Look at me, I got first prize. I got me a dead east side gorilla. Come on. Hey. Don't forget to smile for the camera, huh? Yeah, try one of these. Oh. Yeah, no, thanks. I'm not gonna change my image. Yeah. Try one of these. Uh, no, thanks. No? All right. Hey, look, honey. The cops could bust the joint like this any minute. You shouldn't be unprepared for a shakedown. <laughs> Would you like to search me? Oh, yes, I would. I think you'd better search yourself. Trust me. Mm-hmm. You don't know what hurt is yet. Well, your stomach starts playing a number on your belly. Ah, oh, shut up. Yeah. And you'll be looking for this. Where is it? You know, little white lies full of broken promises. They'll get me out. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. You want to take that chance? You're garbage to them. They're going to let you rot before they even admit they know you. Take a chance, come on. Now shut off your motor, I'm during the energy crisis. As I live and breathe, Warren G. Harding. The name is Gantz, Lieutenant. I believe we've met before. Of course we have, Counselor. I book him and you bail him. Between us, we make a great revolving door. And last but not least... Pressure! You're gonna pressure every pimp, every Shylock, every bookie, every foot soldier, every hitman. Every streetwalker, they sneeze in the subway, bust their chops. If they ask you for the time of day, you lock them up. Let the word go out loud and clear. That's the way it's going to be until Eddie Ryan's killer's in the tombs. Right on, man. Yuri, 